Hello, Maris. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, um, I I thought it was going to rain, but no, right? Because it was really like windy in the afternoon and it was really cloudy, but it didn't rain. In San Salvador, it didn't rain. What about where you are? Did it rain? No, here, very hot. Very hot, right? Yes, here is yes. very hot as well. Very, very hot. Okay, and good evening. I can see that we have uh, Tony. We also have Raul. Well, Maurice. Okay, good evening, guys. Uh, we are good going evening. to... Good evening. Good evening. We're going to start with um, class number 14. Good evening, Tony. Okay, then guys, today's agenda. Well, we have the warm up. Then we are going to move to unit four. Today we are going to start with the last unit of the book, and uh, we are going to talk about assessing risk. And we are going to move to the grammar topic, introduction to the passive voice. Okay, so we also have listening quiz, reading quiz, and we also have the speaking time. So. And to begin with, guys, we are going to start with guess the word. But in this case, guys, I'm going to give you some words. So I need just two volunteers, okay, two volunteers to describe the word. You are going to describe the words that I'm going to send to you. Yes. For example, if I send um, one of the words, uh, which is um, a book, all right, how would you describe a book? How would you describe it? Yes. It's a group of um, sheets, sheets, okay. sheets, of pages? sheets with letters okay. that will be about the, uh, one subject. Maybe yes. um, you can read the histories in them yes. and have a cover a very nice cover that is described with a single draw. Okay, very good. Thank this you, Tony. Okay. Yes, like that. Okay, so Tony, you are going to be one of the volunteers. Then uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so Abigail, are you there? Hola. Hello. Good evening, Abigail. Okay, so um, you are going to describe those five words okay with your own words guys and we need to guess the word yeah so tony you go first you will have two minutes yeah and guys we okay. need to for, guess for the all word. the all, all the items all of them okay okay ready yes i'm ready go uh it's a person like uh would you like to talk with him and this so closer to you and you can tell all the thing that you that you feel see, feel see or happen mm -hmm. nobody it's a, it's a person huh ah, okay mm -hmm. guys uh, it's, uh -huh. continue to okay um yeah with the same with the same with phrase. the same word yes okay um uh, it, this person know you by a few years ago and he knows your histories your your uh, um past times your uh jokes and your um amenities and you talk with them together uh, and so so uh continually okay oh so, uh, oh the, the people can say that is the name of the word yes they can say it uh, but I think that they don't they don't get it. Okay, is that no, it's um it is uh, about your same age. Mm -hmm. A brother. No. Maybe, maybe could be but, could be, but if you uh if you tell your history, your feelings and your um and your 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 uh, secrets your secrets most commonly 
Oh my god. Gal? Gal? No. no. No, it's a person. It's a person. Ah, uh, oh. Female uh, or male? Psychologist. <laughs> it's like, uh, it could be both. It could uh -huh. be both. <laughs> I give up. Psychologist. No. <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh my gosh, it's a friend. Oh. He's a friend. Okay, next word, next word. Uh, okay, um, it's a large uh, cup of water and salty. It's an object. Uh, it's an object, yes, yes. But you can navigate in there. <laughs> but computer. No, no you can surf in there. It's a large body of water. Uh -huh. And the water is salt, salty. Ocean. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, almost, synonym. almost. Uh -huh. A boat. Excuse me? A boat. A beach. No. no. You, A river. It, no. It's salty. Uh -huh, it is yes. salty. You can oh. see the sunshine and the uprise at the large line that have in the in at the finish. Beach. No. Sorry, ocean. No, it's a synonym Sun for ocean. Yes, Sun exactly. Sunset sea. The sea, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is something that you drink or eat that you can say, oh, it's awesome. Uh the the, the taste is very, very sweet or very, very salt. Or you, you can um you can enjoy it when <laughs> you eat something or drink something it's a word that you say oh yes mm, a mm -hmm. synonym of of, uh, of tasty uh, amazing uh -huh, amazing it's food yeah uh, maybe uh -huh. it's, it's talk about food but it's the the adjective that you can say about this this food delicious yes, yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay. okay, next. Okay. Uh, when you go to a party and you have a a, a, a birthday, mm -hmm. you are making this. Uh, okay. But it's not dancing. You 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 um uh, uh, It's closer. Close. It's too hot. Yes. You make a, you make a event and you are uh, making a party yes. celebration. No. Celebration, yes. Celebration. Okay. okay. Oh it's God, a place. It's a place when you find uh, different books uh, and uh, different uh, book libraries. Uh, mm -hmm. Library. Library. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Oh, last, last six minutes or less. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. So the most important is that they guess, right? Okay. okay. Very good. Uh, Abigail? Hello? Okay. Yes. Okay. Ready? Um, I don't understand the, the play. <laughs> Oh, the game. The game. Okay, so let's see, Abigail. Did you um, I mean, did you look to what Tony was uh making? He was describing the word, right? So you need to describe the words. Um. Mm -hmm. You need to speak. Mm, yes, but um, you. Typing okay. direct. Yes, I sent those words to you. Yeah, you have five. Mm, I choose one. No, you need to describe those five. As Tony was doing. Mm. Uh huh. Okay, try, try. Okay. Voy a describir las palabras, las yes. cinco que me escribió. Yes. And we need um. to guess. Y nosotros tenemos que adivinar. Yes. Okay. 
Ok. Mm. Hey. Is when people talk mm -hmm. another people mm. conversation? No. No. When people only two people promise. Oh, make a promise, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, promise, don't talk about another people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah. No, no, Carla. No. Bye. Repeat, please. Pe Bye. <laughs> two people. Mm, Talk about, don't tell uh, anyone, anyone. Anyone, uh -huh. Promise, don't talk about. Uh -huh. Any idea? The people are quiet. <laughs> Stay secret. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Secret. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Yes. Next. Okay. Abigail. Um, uh, what is the cat? Very good. What is a cat? Mm -hmm. A cat. An animal. Very good. Animal. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next. Uh, when the people is people are mm -hmm. uh, the people are fun very fun or oh, funny happy. very good happy yes okay <laughs> okay um, very good <laughs> when the people Go to the school. What ne necessary? <laughs> Talk. Or bring. Mm, no. No. Another. Drink. No. no another. No. When to study. Books. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. yes. Books, yes, books, okay. The first one, Abigail, number one, la primera. Um, um, when you see the sky, uh -huh. the um, tonight, or oh, star, the... star, no, no, another, what Moon. else, no, Clouds. another, Clouds? Moon, planet, no, no. The the more or less and then set. universe the moon, the sun, no no birds no and planets no another stone a galaxy a galaxy, galaxy. Lamp <laughs> very good galaxy. A galaxy okay very good guys you need a telescope for this but this is okay <laughs> okay very good excellent okay thank you Abigail. very good all right so now, guys, let's move and let's start with um, a review. We didn't actually uh, review this yesterday, but now, yes. Let me ask you guys, can you please give me an indirect question for have you ever traveled abroad? Mm -hmm. Give me the indirect question for have you ever traveled abroad? Huh? Would you mind telling me if you if you have ever traveled the boat? Excellent, very good. So what about for did you enjoy the movie? I wonder if you enjoyed the movie. 
perfect. What about what time is the meeting? I would like to know uh, what time is the meeting. Uh, what time? The meeting is. Excellent. What about, are you available on Friday? Huh? Are you available on Friday? The indirect question, guys. Indirect. Would you would you let me know if you are available on Friday? If you are available. If you are available on Friday. Yes. Very good. What about for have you finished your homework? Mm -hmm. Have you finished your homework? I wonder if you have finished your homework. Perfect. Can you speak any other languages? I would like to know if you can speak any other language. Perfect. Excellent. And next, where did you grow up? Donde creciste, verdad? Yes, where did you grow up? I wonder where did you grow up? I wonder where you grew up. Okay. Uh, the last one. Do you like to cook? Would you let me know if you like to cook? If you like to cook. Okay. To cook. Very good, guys. Yes, okay. Don't forget about this direct and indirect questions. Yeah. Now let's move, guys, and let's start with vocabulary. So today we are going to start by talking about unit four. And the name of this unit is assessing risk. Yes. So we have different terms right here. And I would like to have uh, some volunteers. Okay. So Carlos Omar. Read the definition for number one, Tony number two, Jose Bernardo number three, Nelly number four, five, and six. Okay. Okay. Read. Read. Livelihood of Sorry. harm. Yeah. Okay. Livelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Very good. Hazard. Yes, Hazard. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Yes. Exposure. Who is the next? Jose. Oh, sorry, teacher. Exposure. Um, unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Okay. Uh, safety measure. Uh, procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Yes. Irreversible damage, Nelly? Uh, irreversible damage is consequence or damage that is so serious that it's impossible to undo. Okay, and precautionary, Nelly? Precautionary? I meant to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. First of all, let's talk about vocabulary, okay? So what is the meaning of assessing risk? Well, assess until uh, here, okay? It, it means evaluar. So assessing risk, evaluando riesgos, yes? So that is the name of this unit. Then we are going to start with some vocabulary. So what is the meaning of hazard? Riesgo. Hazard means peligro, riesgo. Yes? 
So what is the meaning of likelihood? Likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances. Likelihood means probabilidad. Probabilidad. Yes, probabilidad. Yeah, probabilidad de daños, harm. Yes, very good. So in this case, we have some new concepts, okay, for you to actually uh, take into account when it comes to risk. Yes, risk. I'm pretty sure that um, maybe some companies, they do have the risk department. Mm -hmm. I think that yes. Yes. Uh -huh. You have the risk department. So actually it's related to that. Tony? Sure, but it's, it's right that when I say mm -hmm. probability of harm too, mm. like, like likelihood. Yes, it is probability. Probability. Uh, probability. Okay. Yes, it is the same. Likelihood is just a synonym. Okay, but more than specificated to um, insurance, um, insurance um, language. Mm, could be, yes. Mm -hmm. It's more technically. Technical, yes. Likelihood is more technical. Correct. That is correct. So in this case, um, let me see. Well, I think that you know most of the, the words right here, right? Do you have any question about the words that we have right here? Unpleasant. Unpleasant, okay. Does somebody know what is unpleasant? It says unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Any idea? Desagradable. Desagradable. Unpleasant means desagradable, something that you don't like, something that is unpleasant. Yes, desagradable. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Okay, so now let's move and let's start with a definition, okay? So what is risk assessment? What is it? Um, okay, so who wants to read? Me teach. Me teach. Okay, uh, go, Carlos. Risk assessment. Risk assessment is the process of eval evaluating potential risk of a hazard asso associated with a particular activity, situation, or decision. It involves identifying potential risk, analysis, and analyzing mm -hmm. their likelihood and potential impact. Mm -hmm. And taking a, a appropriate appropriate measures to mitigate or manage those risks. Mm -hmm. The goal of risk as a segment is to minim, minimize or prevent negative consequences and may inform decisions based on an understanding of the potential risks involved. Thank you. Okay. Uh, pronunciation, guys. Evaluating, evaluating, appropriate, appropriate, yeah, appropriate. Then we also have this one, based. Well, guys, in this case, as you have right here, the risk assessment is actually a process. It's a process that companies follow of evaluating potential risks or hazards. Yeah, we already covered this one, which is riesgos, peligros, yes, hazards. Mm -hmm. Associated with a particular activity, situation, or decision. Mm -hmm. And what does it involve? It involves identifying potential risks, analyzing their likelihood probabilidad and potential impact, yeah? And taking appropriate measures to mitigate. What is the, give me a synonym for mitigate in English. Synonym. 
synonym of meeting. Maybe prevent. Prevent. Very good. Um, yes. What else? Any other synonym that you may know, guys, of mitigate? Mm -hmm. Avoid. Avoid, yes, could be. What else? Mitigate. It could be avoid, okay. Also, it can be reduce, all right. Uh -huh. Very good. Then, uh, Oh, let me close that. Yes. Okay. So it says that the goal of risk assessment is to minimize, right, or prevent negative consequences and in make informed decisions based on an understanding of the potential risks involved. Yeah. So now, um, let's see. Let's start with this role play. I need one volunteer to be Marcos and the other one, Josue. Who wants to be Marcos? Me. Me teacher. Abigail, you are Marcos, and I think that I'm not sure if it is- uh, Luis. Luis, right, yes. And Luis, Josue. Okay, go. Let me check if the list of hazards and safely mentioned is complete. Minturers are for electric shocks. For electric burn, yeah, it, it, it is. Have you finished the first draft draft for the office safe safely plan yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Already, Marcos. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Mm -hmm. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I will work on establishing the incident probabilities, uh, the potential severity, risk value, and risk le level. Level. That sounds good. We want to have anything re ready by the end of the week. Thank you. Okay, very good. So this conversation is about two managers. They are discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in their company. Okay. So guys, what is the meaning of electric burn? Uh, no. Electric burn. Quemadura por electricidad? Yes. Incendio, incendio. Ah, uh, no. In this case, it's like quemadura eléctrica, right? Electric burn. Yes. Uh -huh. um, okay. So, who has worked on the office safety? Safety plan. Who? According Marcos. to written, okay, Marcos. All right. Now, who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Who? Josue. Josue? Josue? Okay, yes. Yes, Josue. Yes. Josue. And then what is an area of the risk assessment process in which the manager haven't progressed much? What is an area of the risk assessment process in which the managers haven't? progressed much. Uh -huh. Here we have it, all right? It says, great, 
I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. Controlling risk. Controlling risk. Yes, very good. Okay, and just pronunciation, remember safety measures, safety measures. Yes. All right, guys, let's move. And now what we are going to do is the following, okay? According to the book, what we need to do is that we need to brainstorm examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in this chart, yeah? So we need to add at least four office hazards, yeah? Four electricity and fire hazards, uh, four hazards and risks, yeah, examples, yeah. Then hazardous substances and slips, trips, and fault risks. Give me situations, yeah, examples of situations where we can find those type of hazards, yeah, within a company, yes. So we are going to create uh, five teams, yeah, and I'll give you just five to six minutes in order for you to look for information about this, yeah. So um, I'm going to give you the team number that you are going to work with. And okay, so team one, I'm pretty sure that not all of you are going to be able to, to join the team, okay? So I'm going to move some of you. Um, then team number one, Carlos Omar, Carla Sofia, Kenya, Tatiana, and Tony. Team two, Eduardo Franco, Jonathan, Nelly, Pablo, and Raul. Team three, Atilio, Juan Jose, Luis Miguel, and Mauricio. Uh, team four, George, Jose, Marian, and Wendy. And team five, Abigail, Aleida, Daisy, and Emerson. If you cannot join the room, please stay here and I will switch some of you, okay, to make those five teams complete, okay? So I'll give you just five to six minutes just list examples, situations, examples, okay? That's what we need to have. So here we go. Oh, Vladimir. Okay. Hello, hello, Brando. Hello. Wait, wait a minute. I share the presentation. Oh, okay. Yes. Teacher, que yo estaba en el grupo uno. ¿Qué pasó? Yes, I'm sorry, Carlos. The thing is that I saw just Emerson here alone, so I moved. Okay. 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 Um, number five, sleep, treat, and fall reads. Yes. Okay. Hi, Emerson. Hello. And well, we go, we go an example of sleep. Sleep is, is the risk. Yes, streets and full reads. Yeah. I think is the, in this case, maybe we can put uh, the uh, measure surface. Uh, example uh, when when the people walk in the in the plant uh, maybe have the uh, water in the floor mm -hmm. uh, oil uh, there 
Excellent. That that could be an example. Uh, and it, I'm sorry that I interrupt you. Um, just for you to have an idea, guys, what Carlos is mentioning, it is correct. So what we can say is that one of the examples could be wet or a slippery floors. Wet. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. That could be like the, the um, how can I see this? Um, yes, this could be the cause, la causa del riesgo, right? Uh -huh. um, in the street, uh, city, um, a object in the, ¿cómo se dice pasillo, teacher? Mm, you can say in the hall. H A L L. Object in the hole. Objects in the hole, okay. Maybe box, uh, tools. Mm -hmm. You know, another one could be also poor lightning. Poor lightning. Yes? Oh. Uh -huh. um, this is very common. La mala iluminación. Poor lightning could be a cause of uh, of a sleep or a falls. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, no sign of, uh, no señales de, de circulación. Okay. Very good. No, no... Um, you can say lack of warning signs. Warning sign. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Está, eh, ¿Quién está en su computadora? Que puedan compartir. Vale. I have a computer now. I can share. Okay. Give me one minute, okay? Let me see if the other ones are already finished. Okay. Yes. Let me see. A veces, este, como que da estática cuando están en el suelo la batería. Maybe, maybe polarity of electricity? Um, no. Uh, I, I'm... Course in the floor is all type of cables um, put it in the floor, but is not organized. Organized. Mm -hmm. But in my case, I don't have cables or, or cords in the in the in the floor, all are between the the tables, the, the tables, the the. Yeah. 
the week of the mission thing down there. Okay, uh, about the coffee machine is in fire hazards too. Or, like or it could be a, or an iron maybe when you forget the uh, turn off the iron okay. and you let connect it to the to the okay, fire, fire it could be for a fire too. Yes. An iron is in the plancha. Mm -hmm. It's correct to say plancha that way, teacher. Iron. Yes. Yes. Iron. Left the iron connected. Okay. You forget. Disconnected. Huh? All day. Yes. And others. Uh, equipment or. Um, electronical. Ah, electrical. Ah, electrical. Ele electrical. Electrical. Appliances. Others. Electrical. Appliances. Appliances. Huh? Uh, <laughs> instrumentos. Significa. Okay. Instrumentos. Or oh, electrical objects or yes. appliances, okay. como appliances. It's appliances is like ah, yes, you have it. Yes, you have it there. Appliances connected all day. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe coffee machines are not electrical. Connected all day. Echo, uh, exploration of a uh, material or uh, electrical mm -hmm. or device value. Electrical material. Eduardo did say overdose or air conditioner for electrical. But you will see at condition. In the chat group, Pablo put something. I think we can help us for electricity examples. Overall life of fire condition. The machine is a um, fire hazard too. Pablo put forward electricity, I think. In the chat, it says overload of air conditioner. Okay. Okay. See. Okay, I tell you are ready. Yes. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay, guys, just let's wait for the other ones to join. All right, so let's see, team one, Carla Sofia, Tatiana, and Tony. 
Yes. Okay. So what are some office hazards? I'm going to share you my screen. Yes. Um, we think that um, like we have a different type of office um, in the case of Carlita, uh, the inappropriate use of coders, okay. um, inappropriate use of industrial stapler. Oh, stapler? Um, sorry? Yeah. Tell me. A stapler? A stapler, an yes. engrapador, a stapler or stapler? A stapler. No, a stapler. A stapler. Es que oía que el, el estadio de los Lakers es el stapler, Laker, pero estaba mal dicho. A stapler. Yes, correct. Okay. The Lakers Stadium is Staples. The Staples. Yes. Okay, the Staples. Okay. The Staples Center. Yeah. Spilling food or drinks at the workplace desk. Loose mm -hmm. wires on the ground, bad electrical connections, and using the steam iron without protection. The steam iron, like this, is the mm -hmm. steam iron. Okay. The steam iron. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I have one in my office. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and another, but the, we don't write is make it ends. Uh, or when you finish the 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 the, uh, the month mm -hmm. and you don't have uh, when, and you don't get in paid. <laughs> okay, well, could be right. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, okay. Tony. Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, so. Team number two, electricity and fire hazards. Yes, okay. I'm going with Nelly and Pablo. And yes. But Nelly, can you help me to share yes. the screen? Can you see? Yes. Yes. It's charging. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the examples that we have for it, electricity, we, we put uh, the most common a uh, couch for ele electrical fires mm -hmm. could be incorrectly installed wiring. Yes. Overload circuits. Yes. And overload of air conditioners. For mm -hmm. overload circuits, maybe when we use a, how do you say teacher, a tableta or, or tableta? Mm, I'm not sure. Let me see. Um, the power stripe. Power strip. Power strip. Yes. Or stripe. Stripe. Okay. So when we connect in the power stripe, a lot of uh, electromagnetical stuff like a fan, a TV, our video game. So we overload that that power stripe, and we can cause uh, uh overload uh, overload the circuits. Yeah. That is That's the examples that we, we use for electricity. So Nelly is going to tell the fire hazards. Go okay. ahead, Nelly. Okay. Um, the most common causes for fire hazards are when there is overheating of wiring or when there is reaction with chemicals, mm -hmm. lifting coffee machines, iron, and other, other electrical appliances connected all day, and electrical materials in that condition. In bad condition. Yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. The electrical equipment, right? It's the, the principle. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, team three, uh, which is hazards and risks. Atilio, Juan Jose, Luis Miguel, and Maris. We have a few okay. um, electrical wiring malfunction, machinery malfunction, yes. falling objects, chemicals dangerous in the office. Okay. Um, only, only that teacher. Just that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hazards and risks. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we can mention many, right? Uh, when it comes Fisher. to pastors, uh huh? Fisher. Yeah. Uh, could be a psycholo psychological risk. Psychological. Psychological, psychological risk. When, for example, share a bus for, for example, is a risk. El abuso infantil. Mm, yes. In the workplace. Mm, yes, it, it could be Maris, but in the workplace, in el trabajo, well, it depends. No, I, uh, well, it, it depends. In yes. the school. And the... Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, so yes, it could be. It could be. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. Um, okay, thank you, Maris. Team number four. Okay. Hazardous substances. And um, well, we talked with my partner Bernardo about mm -hmm. this this topic. Um, hazard substances. Um, we have eight examples. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, for example, poison, thinners, paints, ketones, solvents. Mm -hmm. Lacquers, caustic soda, and acid. And um, we talk about uh, one example in the workplace uh, with the first uh, substances, poison. Mm -hmm. okay. um, when they fumigate the warehouse in, in the workplace, we have to evacuate the personnel and sure the area to avoid uh, poisoning. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, the chemicals, right? The pesticides as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Well done. Um, and the last one, team number five. Sleep strips and false risks. Which is the most common one, right? Emerson, please, can you share? Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 Uh, sleep, street, and fall risk. Uh, we have wet floor and this and a slippy. A slippery a floor. A slippery floor. Mm -hmm. In in the street, uh, we have a light light of lighting. Oh, poor lightning! Poor lighting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in the in the falls, a lack of, of harness for working in the height. Mm. Yes. And maybe too in the in the in this in the street a uh, one a uh, uh, object on the floor. Okay. Maybe box a uh, tools another another object. Mm -hmm. uh, for a uh, full risk uh, to uh, uh, going down the star the stairs the stairs uh -huh. okay uh, in another uh, no one near signs mm -hmm. of security okay yes all right so we have wet floor okay mm -hmm. poor lightning okay Yes. Um, yes. Okay. The lack of warning signs. I think that that one is also, yeah, one of the most common ones, right? Um, poor lightning at night. That is another one. 
Yes. Okay, guys. So those are just examples, okay, of, of those type of hazards or risks that we can find, right, within um, a company, in an office, right, in a building, right, etc. So um, let's move. And now let's start with the grammar part, okay, which is um, the most important thing that we need to cover today. Um, Okay, so we're going to talk about introduction to passive voice. Do you remember when do we use passive voice? No? Mm -hmm. No. No? Okay, very right. good. Sure. So guys, um, we use passive voice, first of all. Um, this passive voice, we have two voices in English, okay? We have the active voice and we have passive voice. The active voice is the one that we commonly use. Yeah. Is the one that I'm using right now. This is active voice. Yeah. Is how you speak. Yeah. That is active. But we also use passive voice in some cases. When do we use passive voice? Well, passive voice is commonly used when the doer of the action is either unknown, desconocido, unknown, unimportant, or intentionally omitted from the sentence. Yes. And we also use the passive voice to shift the focus to the recipient of the action or when the speaker wants to sound more formal or objective. Yes. Now, something that we need to mention is that when we use passive voice, most of the time it's going to be whenever you are writing. Of course, we use passive voice when we are speaking, but it is, uh, I would say, most commonly used when you are writing academic papers or emails or a professional um, documents the passive voice, yeah? And it says, however, active voice is generally preferred for clarity and directness in writing and communication. It is preferred, but uh, passive voice is also very useful. And you will see, today we are going to start with the simple present, simple present. But first, we need to know that we are going to use object pronouns and what are object pronouns as you can see we have subjects and we also have object pronouns so this is the subject the object pronoun is me subject object pronoun is you subject object pronoun is him subject she object pronoun her it it we ask a uh, day them sorry here uh yeah I made a mistake. So they, them, yeah, T-H-E-M, them, okay? Object pronouns. So now we are going to start with the simple present tense. But pay attention guys, because this is very important. Now, with the simple present positive sentences, okay, we use auxiliary verbs when we talk about passive voice. And you will see that we make a mix of everything, yes? So when we talk about the simple present tense, we use auxiliary verbs. And those auxiliary verbs could be am, um, is, or are. For the simple present tense, positive sentences, because those are positive sentences. So we have active voice and we also have passive voice, yes? Look at the examples in active voice. I create a report every Friday. Simple present tense, active voice. I create a report every Friday. But I want you to change it into the passive voice. So how can we do it? A report is created every day or every Friday by me. In this case, look at this, we switch, we make like a switch right here, yeah? So we have the common uh, sentence right here. 
but our complement, let's call it like that, our complement now moves to the beginning and we say a report. This is the subject now, a report. So it goes at the beginning. And we use the auxiliary verb, which is am, um, is, or are, depending on the subject. So a report is, the verb is in uh, past participle. Past participle, PP means past participle. A report is created. Then we have every Friday, this time expression, every Friday. And then we use by, by me. Yeah. Why by me? Because this by me is this I. By me. The person. So, mm -hmm. Correct, the person, because the person that actually we emphasize on the active voice, now in the passive voice is irrelevant. So that's why we move the person till the end. It's not important, yeah, in the passive voice. Now, what is important is the object. In this case, a report, yeah. What do we create? A report, yeah. That's why now it becomes the subject. Yes, Tony? Teacher, um, to understand better this, mm -hmm. Examples is yes. when I talk in first person and then we switch to the um, talking about me by second person. Maybe yes. this is the way. When I talk in okay. first person is I create. Yes. When I refers to me in second person is our report is created by this person. And in this case is me. Okay. Yes, I get the idea. Yes, like that. Yes, Juan. Um, in this case, we can say like that, but we need to be careful because not always is going to be I, right? Look at the second example. They review the marketing strategy. This is active voice. That is the normal sentence that we are going to use in normal daily basis, right? They review the marketing strategy, yeah? But now we need to, because of grammar and because of the topic, we need to change it to passive, right? So now the object, the marketing strategy, the marketing strategy becomes the subject. So we move it to the beginning, the marketing strategy. And since this is is, Right, we use is because it is it reviewed because it's the verb in past participle, passive voice structure by object pronoun them because we have they at the beginning. So now we say by them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, if we want to probably interpret the idea in Spanish, it will be like this, active voice, yo creo un reporte cada viernes. And passive voice, un reporte es creado cada viernes por mí. Yeah. They review the marketing strategy. Ellos revisan la estrategia de marketing passive voice the marketing strategy is verificada right revisada por ellos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's important to mention that when it comes to passive voice sometimes it's not mandatory for you to include by me or by them i mean no es importante pero yo recomiendo que siempre lo ponga, que no deje, que no lo omita. Hay personas que omiten el by who, right? Ya no lo ponen, solo lo dejan hasta Friday. A report is created every Friday. 
or the marketing strategy is reviewed. But uh, my recommendation is that you need to include always by me, by them, by you, by him, by her, whatever subject you have. Yes. This is simple present, only simple present. We have all of the tenses. So um, now what we are going to do is that I want you to change the active voice into passive voice. Let's see. Number one, she teaches English at the university. Passive voice. <laughs> First of all, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Identificar quién es nuestro sujeto ahora. What is our subject? What is the subject? Um, the teacher. Okay. Teach. Teach. Is, teach is the verb. The, teach, uh, the teacher, because it's female. Because it's female. Okay, but we have, she teaches English at the university. We don't have the teacher teaches English at the university. We have, she teaches English at the university. Which is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto en la voz pasiva? ¿Cuál sería? She. she. No, eso sería el by her. Eso sería el final. English at the university. Very good. He so, is taught by her. Excellent. Sería English. Ajá. Entonces, venimos y ponemos English. Is. Is. At the university. And my verb in past participle. Teacher. Oh. No, it's not. Both. Okay. Is taught. English is taught. At, at the university. The university. By her. By her. Okay, look at this. Mm -hmm. And that is passive voice. English is taught at the university by her. Very good. So now let's move to the second one. They deliver packages to customers every morning. Okay. First of all, ¿cuál va a ser mi sujeto ahora? Customers. Mm, are you sure? The deliverer. Mm, are you sure? No. Yes. Package. Packages. Ok. Tiene que buscarle sentido a la oración. Ok. Packages. So, let's see. Packages. Ajá. Are. Are. Delivered. Delivered. delivered because delivered. that is my, my verb. Ajá, that is my verb. In past participle. Ok. Packages are delivered. To the customer every to customers every morning every morning um, by, by them by them by them very good mm -hmm. okay number 3 let's move to number 3 okay let's identify the subject in the passivos The broken car. Excellent. The broken car. This is my subject. Okay. So the broken car. Is. Is. Fi fit, fixed. In his garbage. In, in his garage. Mm -hmm. By her. By him. By him. Perfect. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now let's move to number four. We send monthly reports to our clients. What is my subject in the passive voice? Reports. Mm, reports, okay. Or monthly reports. Monthly reports are sent. Very good. Monthly reports are sent to our clients. Mm -hmm. Monthly reports are sent to our clients. Uh -huh. By our by us. us. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. What about uh, the last one? People use this road every day. This, this road? road? This road. Are you said? No, this road is this similar. Is Youth used, used uh -huh. every day, every day, by day, by them, by them, 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 them. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation, okay, is not used, is used, used, used. yes, used. okay, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, what questions do you have? Uh -huh. No questions? No, teacher. No, the, the, the clue is find the subject. Find the subject, that is the, the key. That one. Okay, very good. So I'm going to take the attendance, but in the meantime, I want you to create one and create it active and then passive, both the active voice and then change it to passive voice. Okay, create one positive. I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Um, Okay, Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Aleida. Ay, she's a listener. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Yes. Um, Carlos Omar Linares. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Yes. Thank you, Aleida. Daisy? I saw Daisy. But no, okay. Um, Eduardo Franco Nunez? Present, teacher. Thank you, okay, Atilio. Emerson Ulises Monroy? Present, miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez? Jonathan? Jorge Antonio Sanchez? Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan. Eh, Juan Jose Herrera Alba. Venga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Uh, Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marian. Okay. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Present teacher. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Okay, thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you, Pablo. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Present. Thank you. Eh, Roberto Esaú Celaya. Roberto. 
PDN Connect today. Uh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Oh, yes. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. I am here, Miss. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, Wilbur Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Now, okay, guys. Let me see. Did you finish? Uh huh? No? Yes, maybe. If you finished, please send it to the chat. I want to see the, the sentence, okay? Active and passive voice. Um, it's important to mention that not all of the sentences can be changed, okay? Picture did you send us uh, uh, a test? No, no, you are just creating uh, sentences. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, yes. Okay. Um, mm Okay, guys, let me ask you, um, which would be the passive voice for we eat meat every day? Let's see, Maris use this equipment every day. This equipment is used, okay. Um, yes, Maris, but you are missing the subject. Yeah, they yeah, use yeah, this yeah. equipment every day, okay, yes. Active, I eat vegetables okay. for dinner, passive vegetables are eaten for dinner. Perfect. Yes, Abigail. Uh -huh. We eat meat every day. Eat. Uh -huh. We eat meat every day. Meat is eaten every day uh, by us. By, by us. Perfect. Very good. Okay, guys. So this is when it comes to positive. Yes. But now we also have the negative, yeah? And with the negative, guys, um, I mean, we follow the same. The only thing that we change is the negative auxiliary. That's all we do. For example, I do not create a report every day and they do not review the marketing strategy. So passive voice for I do not create a report every day. A report is not created every Friday uh, by me, every Friday, yeah. Charlie. Uh, okay, um, Ch Charlie writes, Carlos Omar, just with one T and with S. He cooked dinner, the dinner, ah, that, that one is simple pass, Jose, but yes. Thank you. Then um, active, they do not review the marketing strategy. Passive voice, the marketing strategy is not reviewed by them. You see, it's just the negative. Okay, the negative. So we have exercises, which is the passive voice for 
I do not drink coffee. What will be the passive voice? The first. The first one. Yes, Abigail. Uh -huh. Don't know. Dennis? Oh. Okay, the first one, I do not um, drink. Coffee? Uh -huh, coffee. Wasn't? No. Mm -mm. The auxiliary verbs, Abigail, that we still use, um, not is not are not, negative. Mm. Isn't? Oh. Isn't, okay, coffee, isn't, okay, isn't. Drunk? Drunk. By me. Yes, by me. Very good. Uh -huh. Perfect. Passive voice of number two, they do not play tennis on Sunday. Uh, tennis? Tennis. Uh -huh. uh, it's in. Uh -huh. It's not played. Mm, on Sunday? Uh -huh. On Sunday. By them. By them. Perfect. Number three. French. French. Yes. Is not. Is not. Spoke. Is spoken. Spoken. Is spoken. Fluently, fluently, by her, by her, perfect. Number four, we do not eat meat. Meat, meat, if not, is not, eaten, eaten. By us. By us. Perfect. And the last one. He does not watch television in the morning. Mm. Television. Yes, television. Is mm. not. Is not. Watch. Watch. Watched. Watched. Uh -huh. In the morning. In the morning. And by him. By him. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Yes. And that is negative. Simple present. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Let's move. Okay. Let's move. And let's finish. Okay. With questions. Okay, so we have, do I create a report every Friday? Passy boys, is a report created every Friday by them or by me in this case? Active boys, do they review the marketing strategy? Passy boys, is the marketing strategy reviewed by them? Mm -hmm. So, in this case, guys, you see, we just switch and we use the auxiliary verbs. I mean, it's really easy with the simple present tense and with all of the tenses because we have the simple past, we have the present perfect, the past perfect, all of the tenses. We have modal verbs with passive voice. All of the things can be passive voice. Okay, so now let's see, we have some exercises. Do you drink coffee? Passive boys?
It should be. Is. Ham. Is coffee. Drunk. By. By you. you. By you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does he play tennis on Sundays? If mm -hmm. tennis is tennis played played on Sundays on Sundays by him by him perfect uh -huh. next number three do we eat meat is meat uh, uh, come in, Jonathan. Is meat mm. eaten? Yeah, eaten. Eaten. By by us. By us. Perfect. And next, does she play the piano? The piano mm. uh, is. Is the piano? Uh, is the piano? The piano. Play, 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 play by her. By her. Perfect. Percent. And the last one. Yes, and question mark. And the last one. Does she know the answer to the question? Is the, the answer? answer okay. Answer. Is is the answer? The... Answer. Answer, sir. Yeah. Is the answer to the question? No. 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 no, no, bye, bye, hair, bye, hair, perfect. Okay, guys, you see, this is very simple, right? It's not difficult. Yeah, now, uh, Jonathan, sure. yeah, sorry, Luis, yes, and um, passive boys in the daily. Routine the people use a lot this or is something special? I don't know. Is um, uh, yes, I mean people use passive voice when it comes to emails. I, I will I will show you some examples maybe tomorrow of emails. Okay, where people use passive voice. Most of the time they use passive voice because the, it's more the formal is more formal the message is more formal and it sounds better you will see it sounds better sounds better but we don't have problem with without the passive voice we we <laughs> sound wrong um i mean you no you don't have problems the thing is that sometimes the idea should be expressed in passive voice to sound more polite. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Jonathan, you had a question and you said, how is the passive voice in the simple past? Well, in the simple past, we use different auxiliary verbs. And in the simple past, the auxiliary verbs would be was and where. Yes. For example, as um, Jose actually sent a, an example right here, I think. Yes. I mean, this is the simple past passive voice I'm going to share. Um, look at this. This is passive voice. This is passive voice, simple past. And this is active voice, simple past, right? And this is simple past, okay? Simple past. We cover a simple present, but this is simple past. Yeah. So look at this. We have he cooked the dinner. And we have now the dinner was cooked. 
by him. And I'm pretty sure that you'll see some articles with this type of a structure. And that is passive voice. Okay. Now, um, I think that uh, Abigail, you sent another example and look at this. I mean, this example, I think that you wanted to, this one, right? I think that you wanted to add, I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning Chinese. Uh, I'm learning ch Chinese, okay? Yeah. This is active voice. This is active voice, guys. And what is this tense? I am learning Chinese. What is this tense? Mm, simple, no, present continuous. Very good, present continuous, right? And for, uh, for the present continuous, we also have the structure for the passive voice. Uh, Chinese, okay, now Chinese, and we need to add, is being learned by me, like that. Because with the present continuous, we also have auxiliary verbs, yeah? So, and with the present continuous, uh, what we are going to use is, is being or are being, yes, etc. And with the simple past, it's going to be was and where. For the positive, right? And for the negative, wasn't and where. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And for a present continuous, the negative is not being or are not being. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the past continuous, oh, was being, was being, where being. Mm -hmm. Like that. Now, you know, um, an example could be, uh, Luis, okay, for you to probably understand like why we should use passive voice sometimes, it could be this one, um, for example, right? Um, if you are working on a project and a person made a mistake, but you don't want to mention that that person made a mistake, right? Okay. So for example, in the active voice, we can say he made a mistake. Yeah, he made a mistake, but we don't want him to feel ashamed, right? We don't want him to feel uncomfortable, right? So we can say, um, a mistake was made and we omit by him. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you reduce like the impact of the message with the passive voice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys. Very good. So now, but let's move. Do you have any other question right now about this topic? Me? Yes. Okay. In the case, the present perfect. Ah, yes. That is a topic that we should cover actually with the, uh, this. Um, with the present perfect, uh, we also use auxiliary verbs. <laughs> yes, Abigail. Mm, I think that we are going to cover that one tomorrow because the unit has the passive voice with the present continuous. Yes. But we also have auxiliaries. Then besides that, do you have any other question? Any other doubt? No? Okay. Right now, Abigail, um, we are going to explain that, okay? So you can understand it better uh, tomorrow, okay? Then right now, because of the time, let's move, okay? If you don't have any question about the simple present tense, we are going to move to the listening time, the listening, yes? So let's get the link. Let me get it for you guys. Let me get it for you. And... If you are uh, on the spreadsheet, listening quiz 19, that one is, is the one that we are going to take. Okay. There you go. And the uh, passcode is going to be listening. Listening. Okay. Let's see. 
Maybe this time is short. <laughs> yes. But the speakers are very fast. <laughs> now you will see that this time is going to be, let me see if it is short. Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Today is British foreign. <laughs> <laughs> No, guys, no, okay. Don't be mouth teacher. No, okay. okay no, don't okay. Be <laughs> All right. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Yes. I'm going to play it three times. Okay, three times. So here we go with the first time. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about what annoys us most about drivers around us. Any thoughts on that? Um, I think one of my biggest pet peeves is people not using the turn signals correctly. Like, um, you know, they're just suddenly in your lane or, you know, you're waiting to see if you can make a turn and you, you assume this person's coming straight, but they turn right and you're like, oh, I could have kept going straight right. if I had known you were turning. Um, another thing that bugs me is when people think you're going too slowly and they start tailgating you. Well, I think everyone wants to be cautious of how they drive. I think one of the things that bothers me a lot is when, for example, you pull into a parking lot and someone has taken up two or three parking mm -hmm. spaces where they could have only used one. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, thank you for sharing some of those thoughts on annoying drivers. Okay, again. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about what annoys us most about drivers around us. Any thoughts on that? Um, I think one of my biggest pet peeves is people not using the turn signals correctly. Like, um, you know, they're just suddenly in your lane or, you know, you're waiting to see if you can make a turn and you, you assume this person's coming straight, but they turn right and you're like, oh, I could have kept going straight right. if I had known you were turning. Um, another thing that bugs me is when people think you're going too slowly and they start tailgating you. Well, I think everyone wants to be cautious of how they drive. I think one of the things that bothers me a lot is when, for example, you pull into a parking lot and someone has taken up two or three parking mm -hmm. spaces where they could have only used one. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing some of those thoughts on annoying drivers. Richard, the second is not directly, um, is not obviously, is is like uh, um, mm. doing, mm -hmm. you, you can to, In, to very the second the second one mm -hmm. the second the second uh, thing that um, bothered outbreaks yes outbreaks outbreaks uh -huh. I don't yeah. understand because he said that the people is so so slow but following you too closely i think mm. okay okay mm. yes okay but okay let's let's listen again listen uh, another yeah time too. yeah in this video aubrey let's talk about what annoys us most about drivers around us any thoughts on that um, I think one of my biggest pet peeves is people not using the turn signals correctly. Like, um, you know, they're just suddenly in your lane or, you know, you're waiting to see if you can make a turn and you, you assume this person's coming straight, but they turn right and you're like, oh, I could have kept going straight right. if I had known you were turning. Um, another thing that bugs me is when people think you're going too slowly and they start tailgating you. Well, I think everyone wants to be cautious of how they drive. I think one of the things that bothers me a lot is when, for example, you pull into a parking lot and someone has taken up two or three parking mm -hmm. spaces where they could have only used one. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing some of those thoughts on annoying drivers. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. I okay. for one. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me see. Let I, me see your scores. I okay. the third one. The third well, one. Like... Yes, let me see. Give me one second. All 
Ah, okay. I'm going to show you the, the script, okay? So you can, you can see what it says. Let me show you the script. Okay, this is the script, this one, okay? And it says, right, um, in this video, Aubrey, let's talk about what annoys you or what, what annoys us most about drivers around us, right? Any thoughts on that? It's like saying any opinion, right? Any idea? And look at Aubrey's answer. Yeah. I think one of my biggest pet peeves. What is the meaning of this? One of my biggest pet peeves. Pet peeves. Yes. It's like saying one of the um one of the biggest things that annoy me the most. Yeah. So pet peeves means something that annoys you, something that is really um that makes you feel angry, that annoys you. For example, um one of my biggest pet peeves is um what? It could be a messy house, a messy office, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or one of my biggest pet peeves is when people yell at me. Yeah, something that that makes you feel uncomfortable, that annoys you. Yeah. So it says, is people not using their turn uh, signals correctly? Yeah. So like. Uh, you know, they're just suddenly in your lane, in el carril, yeah? Or, you know, you are waiting to see if you can make a turn, by gira, right? And you assume this person's coming straight. Too but close, they, huh? Yes, huh? but they turn right and you're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could have kept going straight if I had known you were turning. I mean, this is just an idea. And here is what Tony didn't uh, actually catch, right? So another thing that bugs me, that makes me feel upset or angry, another thing that bugs me is when people think you're going too slowly and they start tailgating you. Tailgate, this is a, a verb, tail, tailgate. And what is the meaning of tailgate? This one is um, in IAT, right? But tailgate is the main verb. Um, la parpadea es como, eh, yo entiendo que es la luz direccional. Um, no, tailgating or tailgate es cuando un vehículo lo va siguiendo Bien de cerca. Ah, pegado. O sea, pegado. Tail es como, uh. como tailgate es cuando usted tiene el vehículo y está bien pegado a usted. Entonces ese vehículo le está tailgating you. Lo está siguiendo y pegado. Y tail, ¿qué significa? Eh, tail, eh, como cola. Ok, ajá. Because I, I find this word in the uh, fuse you circuit in my car tail. Ajá. Uh -huh. La parte trasera. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, and, and the third one. Uh, the third I, one. I, oh. I was one that the 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 parking car is late, and the correct answer in in the oh, red lights, light. room red lights. That is the answer that I have. Yes. The number three. Randall yes. is annoyed when people. Mm -hmm. First option is room red light. Second option is speed drop neighborhood. And the third, park carelessly. I choose park carelessly, but yes. the test says that, that the correct answer is room red lights. Mm, no, it is the that one, the uh parking car carelessly. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. for for me. In my in my test is wrong. It's wrong. Uh -huh, yeah. Exactly. I, I send you a, a picture. Let me see. In the chat. In my case too. As well. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why, but 
Yeah, sometimes. Park carelessly. Yes, that is the answer. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yes, but that is the answer. Park carelessly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I, I am very sure Tony don't sleep very good tonight for that. <laughs> Come on, okay, guys. I nah, okay, but, now you, but now you see, right, that you have it right. Okay, you have it correct. Okay, very good, but I mean, yes, okay, don't worry. Then let's move to the reading, the reading quiz, okay, the reading. Okay, so for the reading, I'm going to uh, share the screen and there you go the link okay um so open it and i will share my screen so you can read the paragraph um the um uh the, the pascal reading is... reading reading capital letters yes sorry Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. And we're going to take around uh, four to five minutes, okay? So you can read and answer. Yes. What is the meaning of house chores? House chores, eh, los como los quehaceres del hogar. Este chores me parecía como house chores. Okay. Uh. Okay, let me know once you're done. I don't. Thank you. Okay. I'm done, teacher. Thank you, Aleida. Okay. 
Okay, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do for the ones that um, already finished, I'm going to move you to another breakout room so you can practice uh, speaking, okay? So you have a couple of questions right here. Open the class, okay? And you have a couple of questions. Thank you, Abigail. Who else has finished? Me. Me. Nelly. Okay. Me. Hey, Carla. Okay. Okay, thank you, Tony. Maris, did you finish? No. Atilio? No. Uh, finished. Okay. Okay, thank you, Carlos. I finished, teacher. Thank you, Kenya. That is the 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 most important risk to to cover is about the um, the common safely. I think that when you use the chairs, the chairs, the 
escaleras. Eh, escaleras es... Ladders. Eh, the ladders. Ladders. Stairs. Stairs. With the stairs, or chairs, I say. The stairs, you can use the handle. The, the, um, uh, the handle is... Los pasamanos. Um, pasamanos, pasamanos, pasamanos. Uh, handrails, handrails, okay. You need to use the handrails and you don't um, use the phone when you use the, 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 the ladders, ladders. Maybe this so is- Maybe, maybe don't use um, a smooth floor. A smooth? Or, I don't know. <laughs> o sea, piso liso. O sea, no usar un piso liso. Don't use visualizers, no. No. Um, the floor? When do you, do you don't? Why floor? I don't understand the idea. I think that uh, este, este pisos lisos, creo que dijo. Ah, wet floors. Um, mm, mm, no, she says the slippery floors. Slippery. Slippery, like resbaladizos, right? De los yes. pisos lisos. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Yes, slippery. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's true. I have accident. I with that. agree with you. Yes. Maybe you say these signs. The signs. No, safe sign señales. Ah, safe signs. Huh? ¿Cómo oh, sería? Safe safety signs, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, indications. Uh, indications. Uh, for, don't warning, have, no. warning signs. Warning. Yeah, exactly. uh, or you don't when the 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 buildings don't have a uh, emergency exits. Yeah, correctly signed. Mm -hmm. Yes. These ones. That one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to the next page. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, oh my gosh, what would <laughs> it be and why? Uh, in my case, I feel pasta. Because pasta. it's so okay. delicious, yes. <laughs> but only with, pasta. With, with the only spicy. Without, without tomatoes, without meat, without cheese, without only the pasta. Oh, Alfredo pasta with chicken and <laughs> <it's> spicy. <laughs> okay, a plate from pasta with chicken. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and teacher, we can choose a uh, composite plate or only one, only one ingredient. I mean, no, I mean, one food in general, right? It doesn't okay. matter if it has ingredients. Uh -huh. Okay, I can eat at every time in the breakfast, in the lunch, and in the dinner. Uh -huh. uh, carne asada. <laughs> Con arroz, right. chorizo, y... Teacher, it's yes. true. It's <laughs> true. Believe me, it's true. Okay. Okay, I did three times. Carne asada, how do you say carne asada? Roast um, beef. Roast beef. But the roast yeah. beef for us, a different plate, a different embutido. Mm, or you can say roast meat as well. Roast meat, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Parrillada is better, and, and all the time, all the people know. Okay. Okay, and you, uh, Carla? Mm. I like the sushi, but I choose the beans. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, oh, because uh, the beans okay. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 No, 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 no,
Yeah, I don't get bored. Okay. You don't get bored of eating beans. Okay, copy. You don't get bored. Okay. Yes. If you could invent a new holiday, what will it be called and mm -hmm. how will it be celebrated? Um, um, Mendes. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> With baby. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, Father, no, 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 Father, they know. Mm. Oh. I think that be a, 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 a happy week. A happy week, uh -huh, yeah. Happy week. Happy week. Happy week between, between um, the second the second week of August oh because God. you need a vacation of the <laughs> vacaciones agostinas Agostinos the vac vacation. Agost Agostinas holidays yes you need okay. a vacation after that all right let's, okay <laughs> all right <laughs> let's go back guys it's time okay, okay see yes. you okay. Okay, guys, so just because of the time, we are done for today. Okay, thank you very much for connecting today and being responsible. I'll see you back tomorrow with the only person that please stay with me, Nelly, then the other ones. Thank you for connecting and have a good night, guys. Take care, okay? Rest, okay? Thank good you. Night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good, good night. night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, good night Emerson. Good night. Um, okay, so Nelly, uh, this short uh, time is for us to um, actually get feedback, okay? I would like to know how do you feel with our classes? How do you feel with your classmates? Um, since we actually were together last month as well, the last module, so you can make a comparison, right? And how do you feel the classes from the previous month, the topics from the previous month with the ones that we are covering today? Etc. I would like to hear your opinion. Um, I the class I like always. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, the methodology. Yes. The way that um, you you teach us. Okay. Um, yes, I'm I'm very I'm very happy with. With the form that okay. and, um, the topic um, some topics uh, I think that we saw before yes Maybe not not complete but um, a little bit yes um, some topics uh, yes are news yes um sometimes are complicated <laughs> okay all right but um yes are, are okay okay um nelly which is the most complicated topic that you have encountered this module um maybe the topic before that in their questions Mm, it was uh, the reducing classes. Yes, I think um, it's uh, um, of an other thing um, maybe difficult to me is that words, um, technical words mm -hmm. <laughs> about the production and everything like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Um, as you have seen, this module has a lot of technical words, right? Yes. yes but, but I think that um, it is good because you learn more, right? But yeah. I mean, um, I think that at some point you will remember all of this vocabulary, but we need to use it every single day, right? But um, in terms of grammar, as you said before, some topics um, we covered them like before, 
but right now it's just like a review or a, yeah type of review that we do right um okay nelly then do you have any question about any type of topic that you say hey i, I haven't understood this and i would like you to uh, explain to me again or any question about a topic or the platform or something about that in, in that moment uh okay no se me viene nada a la mente. <laughs> okay all right and what about the platform do you have issues with the platform no at the moment no okay all right um okay very good Danley. well um my feedback okay is this you know i have seen that you well last module you participated a lot right and this module you participate more than the previous no uh, the previous module so i think that that is good because you are like uh, you know you are participating more so that means that you are like uh, getting out of the comfort zone right so i really like that you participate and i have seen that you uh, that you speak with more people actually right so you are learning with some uh, new students that we have and I think that that is good. So um, do not lose the motivation, right? Try to keep studying, right? Try to keep learning, try to keep participating as you do, okay? Because you participate a lot and that is something really good. And uh, basically I think that, um, well, you are always in class. I think that you have missed only one class, but I'm not really sure. I think that no, you connected that day because of the internet, if I was not mistaken, right? Yes, um, I have problem three days with my internet. I, I uh, we don't have, we, we didn't? We didn't have internet in my house. <laughs> and yes, one day I, I didn't connect and uh, mm -hmm. the other days, I connected, but um, to my phone. <laughs> With your phone, yes, yes. I remember that, yeah, I, I saw your message. Okay, but in this case, thank you very much for the responsibility because, I mean, yeah, you didn't have internet, but you connected with your uh, data plan, right? So in this case, um, I think that you are in in good way, right? So you are on the track. So I think that you are improving because I have seen that you are improving your speaking and everything, and that is something good, okay? So I don't know if you have any other question, Nelly, something else that you would like to share with me? No. Not right now, okay. So if you um, have questions related to a topic or related to the platform at some point, let me know. And if you don't have any questions, thank you very much for actually staying with me. And we are going to finish right here and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? okay. Thank, thank you. you. Good night, Nelly. Take care. Good night. Good night.